Hey everybody, this is Nick. I'm coming to you with a viewer question from Amin who was trying to use that geography data type uh, with some of the zip codes that he had from New Jersey. Now in this sample deck, I have all the zip codes here in New Jersey in this column B. And then of course he mentioned that most of the zip codes in New Jersey have this leading zero. So there's always a zero leading up to that. Now, if you want a zero to be in front of that number, you're gonna have to change the format of your text in Excel. So you can go up here to the number format menu and you can see I've already formatted added it as text. Now, if I were to go to this little skittle right here and say convert to number, all of a sudden that leading zero goes away. So let's go ahead and undo that. So you want to make sure that if you need those leading zeros, you're going to have to make sure that this is probably formatted as text or search a way to custom format your numbers so that you can always have that leading zero there. But the thing is, if you want to use that geography data type, I'm just going to use it on this one on, on this one cell right here just for testing. So remember, if you have a zip code like this, go up to the data data tab, click on geography under data types. That's automatically going to turn this number into a geography data type. You know that because we have that little map right here. You're going to hit the skittle right here and we'll say city. Now the city says it's Avenel, New Jersey. All right, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and just undo this because I want to show you something else. If I were to go over here to the number without the leading zero and go over to the geography data type, let's click on geography data type. It gives me that little map. I'm going to go ahead and say city. It's probably actually going to fill over here and it's this place in the Philippines. So unfortunately you need to have that leading zero if you're going to use the geography data type. Okay. So I'm going to undo uh, this and I'm going to go ahead and just put this uh, city back from the um, from our leading zero geography data type. I'm going to go ahead and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cl double click to fill this down and it's going to go ahead and give me all. Oh, I guess it doesn't do that. So I'm going to go ahead, control shift arrow down, and then we're going to go up to the geography data type right there. Click on that. Make sure they're all geography data types. Now, here is the problem with geography, uh, geography data types. Sometimes you're going to get these field errors and that's because there's either a bug with Excel and the geography data type which on some of the support uh, pages on Microsoft, it does say that there's a known issue with some of the geography data types. But one of the issues is that one of these zip codes could span multiple cities. So it's not giving you the primary city. And if, if I go ahead and I sort this column and I just look at those with field errors, I think there's about 51 zip codes that Excel does not give me when I'm using just the geography data type alone. So here is one of the things that uh, we should do. Head over to unitedstateszipcodes.org and download their free United States Zip Codes database. This is all the zip codes. They're formatted as numbers, so you don't have the leading zeros. Um, and then they have the primary city, the state, the county, etc. And now what you're going to do is we're going to use an XLOOKUP for the cities. So go equals XLOOKUP. I'm going to point to my value, which is going to be this cell right here. And then I'm going to go over to my zip code database. I'm going to say, I want you to pull a value from column A. We're going to do the comma and I want you to give me the primary city right here. We're going to close the parentheses. We'll push enter. Now that gives me an error because this zip code right here is already form is formatted as the uh, geography data type, but I'm going to double click down here and you'll see now all of the cities have populated. Now, if in this uh, column right here, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that and type 07001 and there we go. Oh, I want to make sure that this is not a geography data type here. We want to get rid of that. Dun, dun, dun. How do I get rid of this format? If I go ahead and just delete, I could do it like that. 7001. Let's see if that works. Okay, that worked if I just did that. Okay, so you just got to delete that. Make sure that these are not formatted as geography data types for this XLOOKUP to work. And then if I wanted to do that for the state, we can go XLOOKUP. I'm going to go ahead and click on this value. Go back to our database column A, comma, and then the state is in column G, close parenthesis, and there's New Jersey, and they're all New Jersey. Now, if I scroll down this list, I don't think I have any field errors. It's pulled the primary city from each of those zip codes. So that is one way to make sure that your zip code list is just a little bit more accurate. So remember, head over to unitedstatezipcodes.org or go over to GeoNames. Um, I think that's another another free database, geonames.com, and you can go ahead and download the United States zip code, zip code database and then go ahead and just 
pull all of your city and state information from a number formatted zip code instead of that geography uh, that geography data type sometimes works just a little bit better. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. You'll get notified every time I post a new video in data design, usually Excel, PowerPoint, or Word. Remember that if you join my channel, it's $1.99 a month, you will get priority access to all of these viewer questions. So go ahead and comment on any video that you have a question on, and I'll see if I can make a video of it and help you out. I had a great time making this video, and I can't wait to see you all next time.